What's up, conspirators? How are things on your end of the video? On my end of the video, you know you've watched too many videos when you're watching mine. Well, at least according to a uh, fellow conspirator, apparently, uh, you know you've been watching too many videos when you've watched my videos. Sorry for the, uh, I guess, the, the serious, semi serious rant yesterday that I had going on. I'm not, I'm not certain what brought that on, but apparently something needed to be expressed, and so I guess it was. Yeah, so, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing? Anybody know where that's from? Any YouTube, you know where that YouTuber does that? Oh, comment down below if you know. If you don't know, that's fine. I know. <laughs> because, well, I, I watched that YouTuber, so... No, I watch his YouTube videos. I don't watch him. That would be Stalker and a Creeper, okay? He lives in, uh, like, the other side of the world. So I can't do that. I just watch his YouTube videos, which are funny, and are gameplay videos, and I watch them, and they're funny. So what did I do today? Today, I'd work. And what does, what, what does my work entail? It entails talking to people, managing social media stuff, as in, like, I'm paid to be on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, and teach companies about how to use it. Yeah, kind of deal. And then uh, I had a meeting that I went to. Oh, on top of that, you get to go to coffee shops and drink coffee or hot chocolate or whatever else you want to drink. Take your pick. And, uh, yeah, watch YouTube videos and make YouTube videos. So, yeah, that was, that was my day. It was a whole lot of fun. Apparently, the weather outside got really warm today. It was almost 50, I think it was 50s today. It was crazy, like you'd walk outside and you're like, wow, this is really nice weather, this is really weird, why the heck is it not snowing? And then like, later on in the day, in the afternoon actually, a, uh, the Department of Public Works decided to come out, you know, the people who like randomly like cause construction problems or do random work on it someplace, in some random city, which happens to be your place and you're like, I can't get out of my driveway now. Well, that didn't happen. But on out, down our street, somebody, I, I don't, I'm not really certain what was going on, but all we found out was there were a whole bunch of trucks there, and they actually bought a drill in, and they like drilled a hole in into the concrete, and I guess they were working on a water main, or a water line, or something, I don't know, all they knew, all I know is that they talked to us, and they told us, okay, we're shutting the water off, you guys aren't going to have any water, so for right now, you know, like, stock up on water can't go to the bathroom, you can't, you know, wash dishes, you can't wash your hands, you can't drink water, the water that you have in your fridge for drinking, good, otherwise you're going to have to stock up on a little bit of water, we'll give you some time to do that before we shut it off, but then you ain't going to have any water for like four or five hours. First world problems, you know, oh, I can't survive without water, yeah, I don't, I don't know, that was, that's, what, that's what happened today, quite interesting, watching them work. And then just hearing all this drilling and pounding going on, you're like, what are they doing? Are they, like, ripping up the pipe? Putting in new... I don't know. Maybe they're, like, fixing something in a pipe. And they did. And then they said, okay, water's back on. You're good to go. Yay. And then, like, I'm not, I'm not certain what happened afterwards, but apparently they had to bring the their um, the digger claw thing. I don't even know what that's called anymore. They had to bring that in and uh, actually take it down to the end of the road, which is, like, past our house, um, to the end of the block to fill it up with water from a fire hydrant and then take the water from the fire hydrant, go past our house, go back down to where they're working and then they dump the water on it. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. It's like a blessing ceremony. Like, we now bless the water pipe with holy water. And I don't know how long they did that, but like the entire road was drenched with water. I have no idea what they're doing. I guess they know what they're doing. They're getting paid to do it, right? So... Whatever. <laughs> That's what happened in my world today. What'd you guys do today? Sure, let me know down in the comments. Love reading and responding to every single one of them. Video I have for you today is a video that was actually captured on ESPN. Now, you know how about ESPN? We're trying to get Ultimate Frisbee on there. One of my friends has the strong idea that Ultimate Frisbee is never going to make it on the ESPN network, but it totally is possible. It is a professional sport, and if we get enough of a demand and enough people playing it to actually show ESPN, hey, Ultimate Frisbee should get just as much coverage as bowling and golfing and football and soccer and rugby and cricket and whatever else heck you games you guys put up on ESPN. That's it. 
Ultimate Frisbee should go up on there. But that's not about Ultimate Frisbee. It's about a bowling. And you don't see too many bowling accidents, except this one's pretty darn funny. It was actually filmed, and they actually had, like, the slow-mo. They're like, okay, let's see the form of the... Oh, oh, that did... Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh. Yeah, when your feet kind of touch that part on the floor, it you slip, and you just can't help but falling. And you're like, duh, because I'm wearing shoes that are flat. And they don't have any grip. So when you slide on the wood on a bowling alley, you are going to slide and you are going to fall down. Guaranteed. 10 times out of 10. Actually, 11 times out of 10. You're going to fall down. And that's what happened to this guy. Professional bowler, but he fell down. And everybody's laughing. Actually, everybody wasn't laughing. Everybody who's watching the YouTube video was laughing. Everybody who was present in the audience wasn't laughing. There's was actually one grandma that was raising her hand. And I'm guessing that... Um, it was her way of, like, freaking out, because another, like, another elderly person's like, <gasps> and, like, the other elderly, the formerly mentioned elderly person who was holding her hands in the air, I think she had a bet going on. She was probably just like, oh, yep, see, I knew it, I could have bet money on that, yep, yep, anybody? Five bucks? Hello, I won. Yeah. So, link to that video is down below in the wrapper, otherwise you can click the red annotation tab that says click to watch now to watch it. Be sure to come back here and leave a comment. Comment phrase of the day is still no snow, but water. Because, well, there wasn't any snow, but there's this hilarious episode in front of our house of watching a um, digger truck fill up water out of fire hydrant on one side of our house to go all the way to the other side of the house, down the road a little bit, and then dump water on a water main. It was funny. So, be sure to like, fave, and share this video with a friend, conspirator. Pretty much. Keep being awesome, and until we meet again, peace out. Seriously, the like button, it isn't that hard, it's like right there. All you have to do is one left click. Oh, it's so hard, just do it, okay? Makes me know that I'm making videos and you're enjoying them. Alright, peace out.